Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you the weird physics of the putt-putt boat. So this is a putt-putt boat made out of a shaving can. You can see that in the middle of the boat here, we have two copper pipes going up into a sealed flat chamber. In order to start the boat, what I do is I fill the two copper tubes with water. Then I have a little candle on a spoon here. We just light the candle and I stick it in the boat. And there it goes. The way this works is pretty interesting and pretty counterintuitive. So this will keep running as long as I have some fuel in that candle there. It won't ever actually run out of water. The water stays the same in the chamber no matter how long it's been running. So you'll notice out the, coming out of the back of it, it's only water coming out the back. There's not actually steam or bubbles coming out of the back. You can see in the slow motion footage of the boat passing over that it is indeed just water shooting out of the back. But if water's continually shooting out of the back, how does it not run out of water? When you stick the candle under the boiler, it causes some of the water to evaporate in there. And that evaporated water expands because of the heat and because vapor takes up more space than liquid water. And so it pushes some of the water out the ends of the boat. But then when it expands too much, it condenses back into liquid water again. And that takes up less volume than the vapor. And so it actually creates a small vacuum in there. And so it sucks water back in. So it's a continual process of shooting water out and then sucking it back in, shooting it out and sucking it back in. But here's where it gets interesting. How could something, if it's continually sucking in and blowing out the exact same amount of water, why does it only move forward? Wouldn't it just vibrate and jiggle back and forth? One of the answers to this has to do with the previous video I made where I showed that using certain frequencies you can blow out candles. In this shot here, I showed when you use this frequency, it blows out the candle. So there's air continually moving away from the phone that enough to blow out a candle. But how can that be? Because the speaker cone's just vibrating back and forth. So it pushes air out and then sucks it back in and pushes it out and sucks it back in. Well, the reason it can do this is because when the air is getting blown out, it had just gone through a small tube opening. And so it's collimated air, meaning that it's one column of air going through and it's not spread out. And so it has more velocity to it and it can blow out the candle easier. And that's the same case with the putt-putt boat here. When the water's coming out of the putt-putt boat, it's coming out of the exhaust tubes from that small opening and so it has a higher velocity. But when it's getting sucked back into the exhaust tubes, the water's coming from all directions, not just one straight line in the middle. And so the velocity and hence the momentum is coming from all different directions instead of just straight on like when it's shot out. But that's not actually the whole answer. That makes the boat more efficient, but that's not actually what makes it move forward. Because if you do a momentum balance on only one of the tubes here, you'll notice that there's always the same amount of water moving out and then going back in, moving out and going back in. So that seems like the boat should just shake back and forth. It actually has to do with what's happening with the momentum of the water in the putt-putt boat. So when the water is leaving the putt-putt boat, the momentum of the water is taken away. It gets shot out the back and so it leaves the system. But when the water is entering the putt-putt boat, it goes into the tube, but then it hits the boat. So the water going in ends up hitting the boat. To see what I mean a little better, let's explain it like this. Let's say you're standing on the boat and you have a big ball filled with water. If you throw that big ball of water out the back, you're gonna get pushed forward. So that's the equivalent of why you move forward when water gets pushed out the back, the boat moves forward. But what about when water's getting sucked in? Well, that's the equivalent of you're standing in the boat and you have a rope connected to a ball of water floating in the water. Now you can tug on that ball and that will pull your boat towards the ball and it'll pull the ball towards you and eventually they're gonna hit each other and they're gonna cancel out each other's momentum. So in the case where you throw the ball of water out the back, the momentums don't cancel out, but in the case where you suck water in or pull a ball towards you, eventually they cancel out each other's momentum. So that's why the only momentum that moves you forward is when the water's getting shot out, not when it's getting sucked back in. So that would mean, for example, if I filled this boat with a vacuum and then opened it underwater and let water shoot into it, the boat wouldn't shoot backwards like this, but it would stay mostly still. Whereas if I pressurized this with water and shot water out the end, that would still shoot it forward. 
Now before we continue our experiment and explain the putt-putt boat a little more, I'd like to thank the sponsor for this video, BetterHelp. In 2022, I'm setting a new mental health goal where I want to meditate every day. With the state of the world today, one of the most important things you can do is focus on your mental health. And one of the best ways to follow through on healthy mental habits is by working with a licensed therapist. With BetterHelp, you can access their network of over 20,000 licensed therapists. It's not a crisis line or self-help, it's professional therapy done securely online. BetterHelp will assess your needs and match you with your own licensed professional therapist. If you've ever searched for a counselor in your area, you know it can take weeks or even months just to get a phone call back. BetterHelp is available for clients worldwide and you can log into your account anytime and send a message to your therapist. And you'll get timely and thoughtful responses, plus you can schedule weekly video or phone sessions so you won't ever have to sit in an uncomfortable waiting room as traditional therapy would have you. BetterHelp is committed to facilitating great therapeutic matches, so they make it easy and free to change therapists if you need to. And it's more affordable than traditional offline therapy and financial aid is available. BetterHelp wants you to start living a happier life today. Visit betterhelp.com slash action lab and join the over 1 million people taking charge of their mental health with the help of an experienced professional. There's a special offer for people who watch the action lab. Get 10% off your first month at betterhelp.com slash action lab. Now let's get back to our experiment. If you're wondering what's making that loud popping sound that gives it its name, it's because when the vapor collapses back down to a liquid, it creates a small vacuum in there and so it kind of sucks in that boiler a little bit so the walls of the boiler suck in and then it pops back out when it repressurizes. So those boiler walls pop in and out and that's what makes the sound. And thanks again for watching another episode of the Action Lab. I hope you liked it and learned something. If you did, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. And you can also check out my second channel I have called the Action Lab Shorts where I do videos similar to this one but I do them in less than a minute. And thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.